Hi everyone, welcome back again in my channel. In this video, I will show four useful commands in Windows Command Prompt to troubleshoot network or get information about our network issues. So let's go straight to the command prompt. Type cmd and press enter. CD. Okay. Now our first command is ipconfig. This is a very useful command to check your IP information. I will use this command and use this parameter slash all. If you use this parameter slash all, you will see the DNS settings as well. So it will display IP address, subnet mask, gateway address and DNS address. It will also display if your cable is plugged in or disconnected. I'll press enter. You can see that. Okay, this is my wireless LAN adapter. You can see. And this is my IPv4 version address. And this is the subnet mask. And the default gateway, which is 192.168.199.1. And you can see DCP server address. Is the same as gateway address so uh, my router is actually the DCP server and you can see the DNS server address is also the same as my default gateway address which means my router is providing DNS service as well so this is very helpful to gather all the information about IP to troubleshoot further okay I will type CLS to clear the screen okay our next command is ping 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 and we type ping with target host IP address or website address ping is used to check the reachability of a host ping operates by sending ICMP echo message to target host and waiting for ICMP echo reply so basically you are sending a signal to another device and if the device is active it will respond back to the sender if not that you will get request timed out destination unreachable messages okay let's ping to my router gateway to see if the device give me response back i know my router address which is 191.168.199.1 so you can see the router is active and it gives me response by default ping will try four times you can see and i'm getting reply from my router which is 192.168.199.1 and I'm sending 32 bytes packet, which is default. And I'm getting the response 5 millisecond, 14 millisecond, and 10 millisecond. It varies because it is a wireless connection. Otherwise, the ping will be stable. And this is the TTL value 64. If we go down here, you can see the ping statistics. Packet sent 4, received 4, no loss, 0% loss. Now I will check google.com. You can type ping. You can see I'm getting response from the Google server. This is the IP address of the Google. You can see I'm getting response, which means my DNS settings and internet is okay. Let's now try with an IP which doesn't exist in my network and see what happens. By default, ping will try four times. Ping 192.168. I'll try with my network. Suppose I'll ping 200. You can see the destination host is unreachable so the IP doesn't exist in my network. So this is very common and frequent common a network troubleshooter use in their daily job. Okay now I will clear the screen with the command CLS and move into the next command. Our next command is traceRT command. TraceRT. The syntax is traceRT with target host or website address like google.com this is trace route command actually but in windows we type it as trace rt trace route is network diagnostic tool for displaying the route path and measuring transit delay of packets across the ip network when you trace route to any server such as google server you'll see how many routers it actually cross to reach the destination okay i will just press enter 
okay you can see how many routers it also called hops so how many hops it crossed to reach google we will see and maximum of 30 hops if it crosses 30 hops it is unreachable you can see how many hops 13 hops to reach the google server so the packet actually crosses 13 hops to reach google.com and first hop is my home router you can see the address 192.168.199.1 it is very helpful for isp engineers to troubleshoot network delay issues they may change the route path then to get better latency okay let's move into our final command our final command is nslookup command i'll just clear the screen nslookup command collects the dns records for a domain or ip address for a particular website an ip address and domain names are stored in dns servers so when we query domain by this nslookup command it will tell us if the domain is resolved by our local domain server and it will also tell us the IP address of the given domain name. So I will check my website techlab.us. You can see this is my DNS address, the resolver, and my techlab.us IP address is actually 89.40.175.202. This is the hosting server address of my domain. You can also check the Google server. You can see the IPv6 address and this is the IPv4 address. So it will tell us if the domain is resolved by our local domain server and it will also tell us the IP address of the given domain name. Okay, that's all for today's video. Hope this video helps to learn these four useful commands. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel and let the channel grow faster. Thanks for watching.